Right, this is my GPS 76 in a pod which I use for hang gliding. The pod is made of aluminium up to this point and the front part is made of wood. It's made of wood because this GPS has uh, got an antenna which detunes badly when there's anything metal behind it, um, any large pieces of metal I should add. Um, it screwed me up a few times, I've lost satellites in competitions and um, I've lost traces and um, come very close to losing points. You can see here it's facing south under a thin canopy, it's barely got three satellites to its name, it's just about clinging onto a lock. If it loses that small one it'll lose lock. Right, what I've got here is a half wavelength piece of wire, nine and a half centimetre piece of bent copper wire. It's only bent down to make it the width of the pod. I've experimented with places to put it. I'm going to use it as, a, as an RF director, a bit like the, um, the directors on your Yagi uh, antenna on your roof for your television. And I found that if I can pop it underneath the, the top of the antenna, in this position, just underneath the pod, look what happens to my satellites. Here we go. It's not there, and it's coming into place now. Now, see what happens. I've got, oh, here's another one already. I've got uh, the ones that are there really grown in strength. I've got, oh, I've got three or four of them at full signal strength and um, a fifth one halfway there. I'm going to take it away again. Here we go. Take it away now. And let's just see what happens to those little satellites. Down they go. Disappearing, disappearing. Right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sellotape that in place on the back of my pod um, and see if this year I can get through the competitions without losing any more points. And here is my piece of wire. I'm going to stick it underneath the pod, just here, across the width of the top of the antenna. 